So now there is data, but you want to get value out of it, right? So you want to run analytics uh, uh, on this data. And where is this data? It's everywhere. So it's at the edge, particularly in IoT type of scenarios. And then you have data streaming in to the core or cloud. And then we have data at the cloud, like typically you store the big data type of things in a Hadoop lake. And then you have curated data for typically machine learning purposes, right? So now, as I said, you want to do analytics to get value out of the data, but there are a lot of challenges. The challenges are, you know, just now, like, uh, there are different types of varieties of data, and the velocity and volume, those typically big data people talk about. And then uh, there is typically, you know, from IT perspective, you need to worry about whether it has to be bare metal, it has to be virtual, or VMs or containers nowadays are the hard thing. And then you want to automate things from IT perspective, and probably to take care of the scaling issues, you want to, you know, make sure that it's scalable. And Again, IT perspective, typically you want to govern the data, where the data is coming from, how it is, whether it's being accessed securely and all that. Stuff. And again, this is just the same thing. There are different personas involved from IT people need modern infrastructure, scalability, those type of things. And uh, data scientists typically need good quality data because you want to good, generate good training models. And then business analysts are typically interested in, I want to just do a quick dashboard thing. Again. So there are all these challenges, and uh, probably SAP people know that you know Data Hub is the solution for unified data landscape management in general. So again, there are a lot of sessions going on Data Hub. If you are interested, please attend. They're very informative and very high level. Essentially, it just combines the enterprise systems with big data systems, you know, or connected systems, you know, whether it's the cloud or object or data lake. Uh, and it has all the connectors to different, uh, you know, uh, systems. Uh, but essentially, the features are like uh, it, uh, data allows you to explore the data, profile the data, just get you know do some metadata exploration, management, and then ingestion of the data from edge to core. And then uh, it also, more importantly, has this pipelines uh, orchestration so that you can do analytics at different places and then you can move data. Sometimes you don't want to move data, but it can essentially execute pipelines on the systems, like it can drive BW process chains and those type of things too. Right? And then finally, nowadays, probably you might have heard there is a product, you know, Data Hub is morphing into data intelligence, which is more focused on machine learning. Okay? So, <coughs> Uh, this is essentially how HP view of architectural, you know, uh, overview of the data pipelines combining HP infrastructure and SAP Data Hub. So probably you are aware HP is, you know, the premier infrastructure vendor, and we have uh, for uh, you know the servers at all levels. For Edge, we have something called HP Edge Line series, and uh, for streaming and for the core for Data Hub like of uh, products. We have HP Synergy, which is part of composable infrastructure, which I'll talk about now. Uh, and then we have for big data, we have an offering called HP Elastic Platform for Analytics. We call it EPA for Hadoop and Spark and those type of things. It's available on Apollo 2000 series and HP Synergy as well. And then finally, the guys you are all familiar with, it, SAP HANA just now, you know, we talked about like uh, uh, for you know, on variety of systems, how depending on your scale, right? So again, <coughs> the uh, just as I said, the data is everywhere. But in general, you need to have the uh, whenever we talk to customers, it's more not just data. You know, uh, the uh, let's say edge analytics or streaming analytics or uh, you know, like uh, big data analytics. It's more like a pipe uh, data pipelines across all these systems. Okay, that's so that you can combine all these things and get a value out of it. Okay, so this is essentially Data Hub. We are we have chosen HP Synergy as the platform, and uh, as I said, it's called it's part of the composable infrastructure. Simply speaking, what it means is you have a fluid pool of resources. We call it essentially you have a bunch of servers, bunch of compute, bunch of you know storage and fabric, uh, network fabric, and you can repurpose and tear it down and, you know, again, build another system, uh, 
would divide these uh, uh, the whole resources depending on your workload. So you can, within few seconds, for example, normally like how you do it with VMs, you bring up whenever you need a VM, you can just bring it up like on cloud. We do it on, with may bare metal. Believe me, if you are in operations or IT, it's very hard. Typically, you procure and you wait for months or weeks. But composable infrastructure allows you to, you know, uh, compose the, uh, <coughs> the hardware depending on your workload quickly. Okay, and how we do it again? Just now I mentioned uh, th there is the fluid resource of pools. Hardware itself is built such that you can repurpose. But on top of that, there is a software piece, and it's very key piece. We call HP Open View. Sorry, One View. We used to have Open View, uh, uh, and essentially it provides uh, template based. Uh, provisioning essentially so that you know you have a bunch of servers you can define a template and then just apply a template to one server and then quickly you get the server up and run, running and also the other piece is what we call it unified API typically when you have all these whole infrastructure for server compute and storage and networks you they have different API's you need to manage you have you know different languages different commands and all that stuff but HP one you uh, uh, provides essentially unified API so that the operator, the infrastructure people can just work very, very easily. Okay, quickly, again, so now there is uh, probably you might have heard SAP Data Hub is built on uh, Kubernetes, uh, specifically uh, some few supported versions of Kubernetes like HP uh, Red Hat OpenShift and uh, Suzak CAS containers service. Uh, so it's basically a container story, right? So how does comp composability fit with the containers. So they, we, you know, we feel that it's very nicely complement each other. Essentially, both in both cases, containers probably, if you're familiar, Docker and, you know, Kubernetes, essentially it allows you to scale, it allows you to be, you to be agile and you know, elastic uh, from application point of view, right? Workload point of view. You can just bring up containers just like that when the workload goes up. The same, we do it for hardware, essentially, so they go nicely together. And uh, this is the reference architecture. Again, this is a very high-level overview. If you're interested, we can talk about it. But as I said, uh, the uh, Open uh, the Data Hub on top, uh, uh, is built on top of uh, Red Hat OpenShift container platform. So in general, if you're familiar with any distributed systems like OpenShift or Hadoop, you have management nodes and you have worker nodes. So typically, there are few management nodes and worker nodes you provision depending on your uh, workload and uh, demands, right? So in this case, we have chosen three physical servers as the management nodes. Actually, you need a bunch of uh, 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 nodes for manageability, like you can see. But what to just save some hardware, we have implemented all these nodes, like management nodes, as far as VMs on top of three physical nodes, OK? And uh, then for worker nodes, basically, we use uh, like uh, bare metal nodes. And then uh, to go along with that, typically containers are ephemeral in the sense that you, whatever storage is there, it's gone. Once you the container is removed uh, or failed, uh, then you need to have some persistent storage. So we have uh, HP offers uh, storage uh, solutions like Nimble and 3 par And then we have a very new offering called Primera, which we will be working on too. Okay. So again, the whole idea of our reference architecture I mentioned, I don't know how many people have seen the documents like that. Uh, typically, data hub, you know, you have cloud offering and you have, you can do it on prep. So the cloud, the advantage is like, you know, you're simple to get, you know, simple to provision, simple to operate and all that stuff. Uh, but obviously, you need to pay for the <laughs> cloud. Right? And over long term, definitely it adds up. So, and for security reasons, probably. You want it on-prem. That's what we provide, this reference architecture. And uh, believe me, like uh, the OpenShift or any distributed systems is very hard to implement and build your own uh, solution. So the reference architectures essentially make it very easy. So we provide scripts. We provide uh, best guy, uh, you know, practices, guidelines, sizing information, and all that stuff so that you can get started very fast. This is the whole idea of reference architecture. And particularly with HP One View, as I said, it, uh, basically it interfaces to other provisioning tools like Chef and Puppet and 
Ansible. We are making use of Ansible so that with one command you can just bring up the whole OpenShift, for example. Or if you want to add a node, you can just with one command it just provisions one physical node or virtual node. Okay. So essentially, uh, with HP One View and Red Hat Ansible, we have this array to deliver it faster.